it's Tina here again. Welcome to Sky Bridge Club and welcome to the opening bit of One No Trump. This is our lesson for today and I look forward to taking you with me. I'm excited to bring you this lesson because uh, lots of people don't like No Trumps but I think they are the best thing. So opening One No Trump, why is it different? Well, opening bids in a suit, they promise, as you know, 12 to 19 high card points and they promise at least four cards in the suit. So if I open one diamond, you know I've got four of them. The thing about one no trump is it's much more precise. Now you've got 12 to 14, not 12 to 19. That's a much smaller margin. So 12 to 14 high card points and it also promises a balanced hand. One heart as an opening bid could be anything. Could have Eight hearts, it could have four hearts, it could have 17 points, whatever. With one no trump, you know it's 12 to 14 and a balanced hand. What's a balanced hand? Well, no singleton or void. You know what a singleton is. It's a suit with only one card in it. Only allowed one doubleton, which is a suit with two cards in it, and no five card major. Because we're always looking for a major fit, we don't want to hide the fact that we've got five hearts or five spades to start with. So that's the definition of a balanced hand. So let's have a look at a few examples to see whether they fit the criteria. So here we've got e6, 9, 10, 11, 12 points. Perfect for one no trump. You cannot get a more balanced hand than 4, 3, 3, 3. So that's great for one no trump. This hand, still the right number of points, but this time it's the wrong shape. Remember, you have to be balanced and you've got a singleton club. You're not allowed to have a singleton opening one no trump. So now you go back to your old rules and you open the longest suit, which is one diamond. How about this one? Same sort of thing. We've got a singleton, we've got a five card major. You need to open your, one, your five card major, so one spade. This example is a perfect balanced hand, but it's got too many points. 17 points. And one of Trump is 12 to 14, no more than 14. So you, again, you go back to your old rules and you open the lower four card suit, which is one heart. Now this hand, interestingly enough, is the right number of points and it's actually the right shape. This is a balanced hand. You can have a five card minor in a balanced hand. So it's a perfect time to open one no trump. If you don't open one no trump, you have to open one diamond and then rebid two diamonds, which you don't really want to do. It's a minor suit after all. So one no trump is an opening bid, can have a five card minor. So as a summary, one no trump, 12 to 14 and a, with a balanced hand and the definition of the balanced hand is no singleton or void, only one doubleton and no five card major. So far so good. Now we get to the responses of one no, to one no trump and this is where it becomes a little bit dif not difficult, different. One no trump is a limit bid. That means it's very precise and it isn't, and you don't have to bid again. And we often say to people in classes, open one no trump and put your hands in your pockets because it's up to your partner to make the final bid. Now, there's always an exception in this game of ours, but most of the time you're going to open one no trump and leave the decision to partner. Now, if partner's got a balanced hand, basically partner is going to be happy to play in no trumps. So here we go. We've got 10 high card points. Partners open one no trump. Are we going to bid? Let's do the maths. Partners got 12 to 14. You've got 10. So that means there's between 22 and 24 points. And that's not enough for game. So with 10 points, you're going to pass. Whereas if partner had opened one spade, you would have bid three spades. So, but 10 points is not enough to bid game when you've opened one. One no trump. What about now? Now you've got 11. So that is possible. It is possible 
that you can over, uh, that you can bid game here because you've got 11 high card points and partner could have 14. So now you can bid two no trumps. And here's a little summary. Up to 10 points and a balanced hand, you know that you haven't got enough for game. With 11 or 12 points, you can bid two no trumps, which is an invitational bid. It says to partner, can you bid game? I'm interested, but I haven't quite got enough. If you've got an, um, oh, here we've got enough for game. 14 points, balanced hand, you bid game. You can do the sums now. 14 and 12 is enough for game, so bid three no trumps. If you're unbalanced, remember, you're the responder. You are the boss. So you're going to choose the final contract. So here, we've only got six points. Partners open one, no trump. Is, have we got enough for game? No, we haven't. But what do we think about the, the best contract here? Is the best contract going to be no trumps or is it going to be spades? Well, clearly, it's going to be spades because you know you've got a spade fit. Partners balanced, must have two, and you've got six. So you can bid two spades. Now, remember, partner's hands are in his pockets. Partner knows that you are the boss. Partner knows also that he has told you how precise his hand is. He said, I'm 12 to 14, you up to you. So it's very different from opening a soup bid. If, you'd opened a, if you open a, a soup bid, and as we learned in the last lesson, and, and your partner changes suit, you have to bid again. Not so with one no trump. It is completely different. So two spades, and it will go pass, 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 because partner's leaving the decision to you. Here, We've got enough for game. We've got 13 points and a spade fit. So now we're going to bid four spades. Straight away, no messing around. Remember, if you bid two spades, partner is going to pass. This is the exception. There is a five. You've got enough for game and you've got a five card major and you don't actually know whether the best game is three no trumps or four Hearts. So what you've got to do is you've got to ask partner. So but you can ask partner by bidding three hearts. That says, partner, I've got exactly five hearts and I would um, like you to choose the best game. So if partner has not got a heart fit, partner's only got two, they'll bid three no trumps. And if partner does have a heart fit, three or four of them, he'll bid four hearts. So, here we go again, a few examples. You've got 10 points, not enough for game, Don't, not a balanced hand, you're better in two diamonds. This is the balanced 10 points I tempted you at, with at the beginning. Now, I don't want you to bid anything either, because 10 and 14 is 24, which is not enough for game. So, it might seem very difficult, but remember, the responder is the boss. Seven points, you don't have to bid, but you should bid because you've got six hearts and partner's got two. So, remember, 11 points, enough to tempt partner to bid game. So now you can bid two no Trump, saying up 11 to 12, you decide partner whether or not to bid game or not. Five cards suit and enough for game, three hearts. Mm. So there's lots of examples here. And there is your little summary. If you've got a balanced hand, you need 11 points to bid because otherwise it's not enough. For, it's not going to make 25 for game. Unbalanced, you're the boss. You bid your long suit at the two level if there's no game. You can bid game if you know you've got a fit. And if you're not sure, you jump to the three level with a major suit and partner will decide the best contract. So it's up to you. This is an important lesson. So have a look um, at it more than once and remember to play the hands on Skybridge Club. Thanks for watching. Was different, wasn't it? But it is an incredibly useful bid. Now don't forget, you've got eight hands to practice on the same page. That's the best homework that you can do. I'll see you next time.